Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle book review of Breathless Homicidal Slime Mutants. I'm not really certain why they went for that title because most of the books in here are nothing like that. But still, The Art of the Paperback, probably a bit more dull, boring, but still, that of course sells it in the shop. But there you got there, it's a nice thick book, 304 pages in this. You can see it's size, basic size of paperback book, though paperback books obviously vary in size nowadays. And this is from Universe. And this book came out in 2010. Obviously, most of the books are like 1955, 1949, that sort of period. But wow, what a great book. Let's just go through it. And you've got here Joan of Arc, Breathless Homicidal Slime Mutants. That was one of the weird things. All the way through, he's got their mutants at the top of it. And then you're looking at it thinking, what's that got to do with mutants? But anyway, Soldier of Fortune. Thing is, with all the covers, and they've got lots and lots of covers in this. You've got all the details there. So you can see like Signet books. I love Signet books. 1949, artist, you've got the artist. Not all of them, I think, have the artist mentioned. But you've got here, like this one, Perma Books, New York, 1955. It doesn't mention the artist for that. But it's just got so many brilliant covers. I just love the artwork. And some of them, look at this one, Norman A. Fox, The Thirsty Land. Just glorious cover. Gun Blazing Western, that would sell it straight away. Now it's got a nice introduction, which is always good, of course, a great introduction. It's also got a long list of different, let's see, got, look, here's the contents. You can see the birth of the mass market, novel approach, sword, sea and sky, and some bard and beyond. Just really great covers all the way through. Just gonna show a few. So you've got Justin there. Lawrence Durrell, reasonably famous author, Saturday night and Sunday morning. Reasonably famous as well, of course, a film as well. The Marshal, many of these, of course, were made into films. Marshal of Sundown, popular library, bullet law hits a renegade town. This one is popular library. Well, I've seen many of those, popular library, popular library. Of course, Ace Books, We Die Alone. There's loads of pyramid books. There were millions. Of this one here is um, popular library again, pocket books, and so on. Men Against the Sea, this one. The most popular and exciting novel ever written about survival at sea. They always have to put that. This is the greatest book of all time. This is blah, blah, blah. Captain from Castile, Torrid Non-Stop Adventure. First rate, Bantam Giants. American Gun Mystery by Ellery Quinn there. Just Blonde Died, I love that one. The Blonde Died Dancing. He signed up for a dancing course. Yeah, that's why I love dancing as well, but and got a free lesson in murder. Yeah, I hope that. <laughs> no, right, I don't think I'll go for that, that class. That sounds a bit of a risky class. But you've got Gigi Colette, great writer. I love Colette's works. Oh, I love reading the little blurbs they've got. <laughs> you just start reading and go, I'm sort of been a novel about a Puritan fanatic and a temptress in a barman paradise. Oh, this one, the Robert Sheckley. This one's a signet book. They're just, I love the science fiction ones. I used to grow up just by millions of science fiction books. And my shelves were full of science fiction books. And I had loads of these sort of ones. I had this volume. Uh, Martian Odyssey. I love that one. Lancer Books. I didn't have many Lancer Books. A few, but not many. Uh, first on the Moon. I don't know, unfortunately, it's a slight rip there as well. That's not in my copy. That just happens to be in the book. I don't know why. Oh, Robert A. Heinlein. The Haploids. I can't even make that one out. The right, slightly, some of the pictures are slightly, slightly blurry, so I can't make that bit out. Lion books, I remember Lion books. Oh, stories from Shakespeare. Oh, some of the artwork as well. It's great. Stories from Shakespeare. You've got here Shakespeare of London. I love that one. That's a Milton Glaser one. Absolutely brilliant. I've got a couple of Mil Milton Glaser books, and he's just great artist. Connecticut Yankee in King Arthur's Court. Oh, Elmer Gantry. Oh, I love all the ones. Now, of course, sometimes you see the ones, obviously the photo ones as well. Sinner, Elmer Gal Gantry, wait once you, it says there. Woman's Barracks, We Walk Alone. Oh, Lavender Liaisons. Teenage Gangs and so on. There's just lots and lots of different ones in here. So you've got the lot. You've got a whole range of different books. Weirdly, there's no like Penguin books or anything like that, but still, there is a great selection in this. Now, I just got this recently. Well, actually, just recently, about 10 minutes ago. So that's as recent. Paperback Fanatic. So it just comes through the letterbox and I can't even remember what number it is. 46. Yes, 46. There is great coverage of vintage paperbacks. Now, I'm, I will be doing a quick review of this. Again, much the same. It's 
got things like here, Swamp Things. The reason I got it, because I was reading about sort of selling, and it was talking about eBay and getting rid of all books and things. Oh, I thought that's interesting. Then it was talking about like Dime Mystery Magazines and other things as well, a reader's guide. There's just great selection of things in this. Death Dollars and Dusty Pages, talking about Spaghetti Western paperbacks. Hmm. I must admit, I don't, I can't say I've ever seen those for a few dollars more, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'd love to get those, but I bet they I'm not even gonna look at how much they cost. And I just downsize, that's what I got it for, downsizing. Also it talks about these, I love these, those new English library ones. I had thousands, well, not thousands, they probably didn't do thousands. But this one, H.B. Lovecraft, I had that one, Clark Ashton Smith, Lost Worlds, Clark, just great, great books. And I loved going to the Fantasy Centre up in Islington. That, was a great bookshop and you spent hours in there. Never bought anything. No, I did. But it was always great because there was always people chatting away about books. They loved their books. I don't know if they ever sold anything, but it was still always a great place to go. But I did buy books occasionally. But it was the best place for science fiction and fantasy books. And I always regret not uh, buying more. There's one, Outsider. Outsiders. Outsiders. Yes, it was The Outsiders and Other Stories. H.P. Lovecraft. And it was going for £400, which is a lot. I'm not saying it's not a lot. But I looked at it, I thought, oh, that's... And then you think, now, of course, the shop's gone. So, ho-hum. Anyway, completely off subject, but that's the thing about it. Still, this book is excellent. Absolutely brilliant. I've got, like I say, other books like this, but I think this one is actually pretty well up there in a very unusual selection of books. And that's what you want. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to go, oh, you know what, I must go and look for that book. But some people may go through this and go, oh, must try and find it. And of course, you can look online. Trouble is, quite often you find copies of these books and sometimes it says a date or whatever. And rarely is it 1955 or 19 thing. Maybe there are specialist places, book sites and things. I guess that's where people find these sort of paperbacks more than just looking on eBay or Amazon, the obvious choices. But I guess there must be sites that you can probably find this sort of stuff at, obviously, pretty expensive, but still will get you the books that you really want. So this one, I just love. The Art of the Paperback. Really worth checking out. Totally recommended book.